The EXT-01 is a tough, agile tomahawk finally crafted in the USA to exacting standards by Hogan Incorporated and designed by former Marine Recon and custom knife maker Alan Aleshowitz. The hand-honed bellied edge is excellent for chopping and slashing while the pointed heel and toe are capable of penetrating cuts. The back of the head can be used as an impact tool, and two holes accept optional pry bar, hammer, and spike accessories. Eliminating top heaviness, the skeletonized head makes it lightweight and very fast in hand. The blade is made from S7 tool steel, chosen for its shock-resistant properties. Durability is further improved with a cryogenic heat treatment and a kiln-baked Cerakote firearms finish. The handle has a partial tang set in a tough G10 using Hoke's custom heat-treated hardware. The thick slabs of G10 offer resistance to chemical and moisture damage, as well as impact resistance. When the hawk is placed in the G10 sheath, powerful magnets hold it while the catch is manually engaged. Although very secure, the tomahawk can be quickly and easily drawn. The mechanism is fastened to a contoured polymer waist paddle that clips onto your belt. Optionally, the paddle can be swapped out using the TechLock compatible mounting bolts on the back of the G10 sheath component. At 14.125 inches in overall length and only weighing 0.95 pounds, the EXT-01 is one of the toughest pound-for-pound -pound tomahawks available, making it well suited for tactical and sporting roles alike. Hogue knives leverage the know-how of three generations of manufacturing experience and are backed by our limited lifetime warranty. To view available models and other quality knives and tools. This is the Gerber Downrange Tomahawk. Comes with a low profile molly sheath that can fit on just about anything. Easy release snaps let you get at the Tomahawk in no time. The Downrange Tomahawk has three primary breaching functions. The first is a pry bar. This pry bar has a cant in the head to allow maximum leverage. Up top on the axe head, you have an integrated prying handle. This gives you real estate so you have positive control when you're executing the pry. On the reverse side, you have a hammer head. This has maximum surface area and is welded in place. On the opposing side, you remove a button here and can quickly and easily eject that kydex sheath from the tomahawk. This exposes a large blade with a point on the bottom. This is great for hacking through ropes, twine, anything else in a hurry. It also has two G10 handles along both sides. This gives the user maximum control and confidence during swings or during pries. The downrange tomahawk is 420 high carbon steel. It's been heat treated so it won't bend under stress. Proudly made in Portland, Oregon, this is the downrange tomahawk. Hi, I'm Ryan Johnson, president of RMJ Tactical, and I design for CRKT. This is the uh, RMJ KNG T Hawk. I designed this Hawk uh, to be an entry exit tool and also a close quarter combat weapon. The spike has a very aggressive piercing design. The top edge is sharpened just like the forward edge. It has a uh, small compact head with center of gravity floating right around in here. It gives you good control of the tool. It allows you to chop through things like safety glass, like car doors. It allows you to do things like break locks and break chain with the spike. Not only can that be used as a cutting surface or scraping surface, but that cuts down on the drag of the tomahawk. When you're introducing the, the tomahawk into a cut, your drag profile is reduced by relieving this edge and having it sharp. The handle is a fiber reinforced nylon. You have several different hand holds in the piece. You can choke up on it like this. You can choke up on it like this. There's a good place there and a good place here. You've got multiple lashing points here, here, and then three lash points there. The bottom piece here is pointed. It allows you to poke into things, break glass, things like that, if you don't want to be using your spike to break glass. It has a heat treat that's hard enough to keep an edge, but tough enough to, to keep up with the type of breaching applications people will be using it for. Uh, this is the Kanji T-Hawk with a uh, safety orange handle. The point of carrying something like this for law enforcement, EMTs, emergency rescue, is that it's a lightweight breech component that's easy to get to any kind of scene. You can carry it on your person. I'm Ryan Johnson. I design with CRKT because they believe in quality design. This is the Schrade SCX-4 Tomahawk. A versatile instrument useful in a range of applications including rescue, survival, tactical and everyday outdoor adventures, the SCX-4 Tomahawk delivers chopping, cutting and penetration power in a lightweight package. 
The SC Axe 4's axe head is cast from rugged 3CR13 stainless steel and is powder coated for increased durability. Chop, cut, and slice with a sharp 3.3 inch edge. Use a high grip on the handle shaft for controlled cutting. Slide your hand lower down the shaft for increased power. For maximum penetration, bring the hardened pointed spike into play. Low density polyethylene is molded around the axe head's tang, creating a nearly indestructible handle. Over three feet of 550 spec paracord is wrapped around the lower end of the handle, establishing a positive gripping surface well suited for aggressively delivering rigorous chopping and penetration blows. For even greater safety, tether the SC Axe 4 to your wrist with the paracord. Protect the Tomahawk's blade by storing it in the black nylon belt sheath. The sheath's twin top snaps keep the hawk secure while providing quick and easy access. A three inch belt loop lets the SC Axe 4 hang comfortably at your side or lash to gear, ready for the moment you need it. A lightweight Tomahawk weighing in at a mere one and three quarter pounds, crafted from premium materials and built for a lifetime. This is the Schrade SCX4 Tomahawk. Find the S United Cutlery raises the bar in tactical performance with its best-selling M48 Tomahawk. The unique design of the 8-inch axe head offers a 3 and 7 8 inch blade edge with a vicious piercing spike on the reverse side. The head is cast of rock-hard 2CR13 stainless steel with a non-reflective black oxide coating to prevent corrosion and increase durability. The 30% fiberglass reinforced nylon handle is virtually indestructible, making this Hawk Axe an indispensable addition to any toolbox or go bag. Carry it on your belt or lash it to your pack with the included M48 nylon blade sheath. At 15 inches overall, it's an ideal size for all of your projects and chores, small and large. This is the M48 Tactical Tomahawk. Lamb from Viking Tactics and I'd like to show you a little memento that I brought back from overseas. This is a little axe that I carried on a lot of the missions I did in Iraq and uh, what I had done here is I'd found this on one of the objectives. I knocked the wooden handles off, I polished a few of them up, I gave them to some of my guys on my team and uh, this one I kept for myself and I carried it wherever I went over there. The reason I carried it I thought it'd be a really handy tool. It had a pry bar, a hammer, a blade, a place that you could pull nails here, whatever you might need. And if I lost it, it wasn't going to bother me much. So I showed this little axe to 511, and when they saw it, they decided it'd be really cool to do an operator axe. So that's what we've done here. So we got a super sharp blade here with a long beard. You can uh, look at some of the old tomahawks. They also have a very long beard like that on their axes. We also have the hammer point. We have a pry bar built in at this end. We also have different size tools built in. We got a half inch, three eighths, an inch and a millimeter wrench built into this as well. There's also a quarter inch socket here. And then at the end, we have the ability to actually rip sheet metal if you need to do that. If you're trying to cut into a vehicle, not that this would be the only tool you use, but this is a, another tool that can be used for that. Once again, this is the 511 Viking Tactics Operator Axe. And I really think you're gonna like it. This is the Schrade SCX-2L axe Survival Axe. At just under 16 inches in length and weighing less than 2 pounds, the SC Axe 2L is the axe of choice for those looking for a lightweight, versatile survival axe tough enough to handle the rigors of the great outdoors under any and all conditions. The 4.2 inch 3CR13 stainless steel head with hammer pommel rests at the business end of the axe. Its hardened blade, ready to attack whatever cutting challenges present themselves. Coated in titanium, the axe's head resists corrosion and has edge-holding stamina. The pommel is designed to provide exceptional crushing power. The head is fused onto a black, glass fiber-filled PA handle, culminating in an ergonomic black TPR rubber grip, affording a choice of various hand positions to accommodate whatever chopping task is at hand. The higher the grip, the greater the control. Lower your grip for power strokes. 
An extra large ferro rod with a generous length of lanyard cordage rests snug in the SC Axe 2L's handle. Carry the axe by means of its belt sheath. The broad Velcro top flap provides fast access while the sheath protects the blade when not in use. A two-sided sharpening stone is included with the axe. One side features coarse grit, the other side fine. A powerful yet lightweight axe serving the needs of serious outdoor adventurers crafted from premium materials and built for a lifetime. This is the Schrade SCX2L Survival Axe. Find the Hi, I'm Ryan Johnson, president of RMJ Tactical, and I design for CRKT. Next in the lineup, we have uh, the new Chogan. It's a drop-forged, uh, classic, traditional tomahawk. This is uh, drop-forged 1055. It's differentially heat-treated so that the forward edge is hardened, the rest of the body is tough and springy. It has an American-made, Tennessee-made hickory handle. It's made in Sequatchie Valley, Tennessee. There's a one and a half degree taper on the top of the head and of the handle and then also in the internal eye so that the head is always tightening as you use it, uh, which is the same way they were doing to hawks 250 years ago. This is a nice beefy hawk, good for going out into the woods, kicking around, uh, it's a good wood chopper. It also throws well. Another drop forged hawk we have this year is the Kanji Woods Hawk. The uh, Kanji Woods Hawk is a spiked version of uh, the other hawk, it has a little bit wider blade. Same nice wood chopping profile, it's an excellent thrower and it has this nice, uh, nice long spike. You can throw with the spike. You can also uh, do breaching with the spike, brakes, brake locks, etc. I'm Ryan Johnson. I design with CRKT because they believe in quality designs and quality products. Hello. Today we'll be talking about the SOG Voodoo Hawk. SOG makes many different tomahawks. This one was originally designed as a tie-in with EA Games and is actually featured in the 2012 video game Medal of Honor Warfighter, where it is used by the character Voodoo, hence the name Voodoo Hawk. In terms of specifications, the Voodoo Hawk is 12.56 inches or 31.9 centimeters long. It is made of 3 CR13 steel, which is very similar to 420 stainless steel. It is not a full tang construction. The handle is glass reinforced nylon, which helps keep the weight down at about 28.5 ounces or about 975 grams. The trade-off is that some people have reported that the handle has actually snapped in half when it is thrown at a target. However, I've seen numerous videos where people have been very successful at throwing their voodoo hawks without any problems whatsoever. If we take a look at the head, it is 8 inches or 20.3 centimeters wide, with the cutting edge being 3.5 inches or 8.9 centimeters long. On the back end, there is a very powerful piercing point. At the bottom of the handle is a metal cap, which helps balance the voodoo hawk, and it's also very helpful if you have to smash through something with a blunt surface. It comes standard with a snap closing nylon sheath which has six reinforced holes for latching into gear and it also has a belt loop on the back side. Because we're going to talk about this beast today. I'm going to pull this out and I'll let you know right now I've already done some testing on this thing and just had some fun with it. So smudgies on there but that's about it. I can't do a whole lot of swinging because it's so big it's got to stay on camera here. But this is the Topps Viax which is short for Viking Axe, which is good because this thing makes you want to just get in and do some stuff. This might as well be Violence Axe because, oh my gosh, get this thing in hand and it just, oh yeah, you want to grow your beard out and just start screaming things about Odin and Valhalla and stuff. This thing's amazing. If, if, if you want a fun type axe and you want something that's fun, and I think a lot of people, you know, get into knives and blades and stuff for fun. This is, this might not be the, and it, and it has uses definitely. It's definitely useful. And I'll show you some different things that I did with it. But just a, one of those things that's also fun. Just indestructible funness is what this thing is. So let's get into this real quick. The overall length on this thing. I'm going to go ahead and read this off because I don't know if I can count that high. It's 15 and a quarter inches, I guess, from here down to here. Now, the blade length, you got two blade lengths. So, this blade length is going to be five and a quarter inches. Check that out. And this is 1075 steel instead of Tops makes a lot of 1095 stuff. 
and like I'll, I mentioned diff later on in the video when I'm testing this, it says that they use the 1075 for impact resistance. This would mess up. Man, look how thick that stuff is. Holy heck.